Hi everyone, uh, I'm Zayed. I'm a fourth year general surgery resident from the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque. I just want to thank the selection committee for the opportunity to present. We have no disclosures. Appropriate education and information are the cornerstone of patient autonomy. In addition to the discussion that clinicians have with the patients, they also utilize brochures and educational materials to help achieve this goal. However, many material sources do not provide the appropriate level of readability for the average patient. In fact, in the United States, the average United States resident reads at the approximately an eighth grade reading level, and the average Medicare beneficiary reads at a fifth grade reading level. It's been a little while since I've been in grade school, so to try to equate that to something that might be familiar, eighth grade reading level is uh, the book Animal Farm by George Orwell. Fifth grade reading level is The Wizard of Oz. If you're more familiar with Harry Potter, the earlier ones was uh, closer to a fifth grade reading level, the later ones closer to an eighth grade re uh, reading level. Um, because of this, the Joint Commission has actually made recommendations for patient literature that it should be at a fifth grade or lower reading level. And this is outlined in a publication in 2010 by the Joint Commission. So I was curious where our society stacks up. So our aim was to look at and evaluate the readability of patient information brochures provided by SAGES. If you go on the SAGES website right now, there's 15 patient brochures that are available for download in multiple different languages. Um, at the time of this abstract, there was actually only 13. So we evaluated the English language patient information brochures and collected these from the SAGES Healthy Sooner webpage. We utilized Microsoft Office to calculate a flesh reading E score and a flesh Kincaid grade level uh, score, and I'll review these in the next slide, and then performed a qualitative and univariate analysis. So the flesh reading E score, this is a well-developed score uh, from the 1970s. It's utilized to um, determine the easeability or, or easy, how, readability and the ease of uh, different types of text. Uh, it's an equation that comes out to a score of a zero to 100. Higher scores equal easier reading or you know, better readability. And a score of 90 equates to approximately a fifth grade reading level. The uh, flesh Kincaid uh, essentially takes that score and applies it to a, the equivalent of a U.S. grade level score. So again, like a fifth grade reading level. So 13 patient uh, information brochures were evaluated. And unfortunately, none of the 13 achieved the flesh reading E score of 90 or the flesh Kincaid uh, score of a fifth grade reading level. Again, the Joint Commission's recommendation. Uh, the average flesh reading E score was a 47.8, and this uh, equated to approximately a 10th grade reading level. In, uh, again, in the theme of books, uh, this is uh, similar to Charles Darwin's uh, Voyage of the Beagle. So here's the 13 uh, brochures. The one that actually had the highest flesh reading E score, meaning the best readability, was the one for ERCP, uh, equated to approximately a 7th grade reading level. And the one that had the lowest score, meaning the most difficult to read or the worst readability, was actually the, the GERD patient information brochure. Interestingly, since uh, we submitted this abstract, two of these were actually updated. Um, so the ventral hernia patient uh, information brochure originally had a reading score of uh, 40, and the updated one has a reading score of 59. So it went from a grade level of a, about a 12th grade reading level to an eighth grade reading level. And the brochure for GERD, this was the one, if you remember, had the worst readability or the lowest score previously at 33.8, actually now 60.9. So it went from a, about a 13th grade reading level to a eighth grade reading level. So in conclusion, the SAGES informational brochures are a useful tool for patient education and counseling. If you take a look, they actually have pictures on them, you can draw on them, and. I think they're a useful tool in the discussion that a clinician has with their patient. However, of the 13 that we evaluated, none of them meet the current recommendations for patient readability. Although there's been some updates to some of the patient information brochures, there needs to be further refinement to provide the appropriate reading level for our average US patient. If you ever wanna come visit Albuquerque, the best time's in October, it's the International Balloon Fiesta. It's the largest balloon festival in the, uh, in the world, so. With that, I'll take any questions.